Hi. Now, because this question is quite long, I have started to sketch the diagram out to save time. What we're given is that the point A lies on a rough plane inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal, where sine theta equals 24 twenty-fifths. And I've sketched a triangle here just to illustrate that ratio. We'll come back to that later on. And then a particle P is projected from A up the line of greatest slope with a speed of u meters per second. And the mass of P is 2 kilograms. And the coefficient of friction between P and the plane is 5 twelfths. We're told that the particle comes to instantaneous rest at the point B on the plane, where AB is 1.5 meters. It then moves back down the plane to A. And in the first part of this question, we've got to find the work done against friction as P moves from A to B. Now, what I've done here is I've sketched P in a, just a general position as it moves up the plane from A to B. Now, if we're to find out that work done by the friction, remember work done is force times distance. And the frictional force that we have got on this is going to be acting in the opposite direction to motion. So it's going to be acting down the plane. We've also got, though, the weight of the particle. So we just put that down there. Mg. So if its mass is 2 kilograms, its weight is going to be 2g newtons. There'll also be a contact force from the plane, which I'll call R, R newtons. Now, because it's moving up the plane, friction must be limiting. In other words, this frictional force must be equal to mu, the coefficient of friction, times the reaction, R. So this force here is mu r, and it will be then 5 twelfths, because mu is 5 twelfths, and we'll multiply it by r, and it'll be measured in newtons. So to get the work done against friction, it's going to be this force multiplied by the distance ab, 1.5 meters. Problem is, we need to get r first of all, and we can do that by resolving perpendicular to the plane. I'll also just mark in a dotted line here that's perpendicular to the plane. And in the usual way, this angle between the vertical and this line is theta. So when we resolve perpendicular to the plane, let's just indicate that by putting an arrow out there, taking away from the plane as positive, We've got all of the reaction, R, OK? We don't need to consider this force because it's perpendicular to the direction we're resolving in. This component of the weight into the plane is going to be minus 2g. And because it includes the angle, it'll be cosine theta. This is our resultant force. And because it's in equilibrium relative to the plane in this sense, it equals zero. So if we add 2g cos theta to both sides, we therefore have that that reaction is 2g cosine theta. Now, we're in a position to do the work done against friction. So therefore, the work done okay, against friction, just put that underneath there because we haven't got much space is equal to that force, 5 twelfths r. r is 2g cos theta, so we've got 2 multiplied by g. We'll take g as 9.8. Now, when it comes to cosine theta, we go to this triangle here. We don't need to work out what theta is. We can see that by Pythagoras' theorem, the square root of 25 squared minus 24 squared will give us this side here. And it turns out to be 7. This is a well-known Pythagorean triple. So 
do try and familiarize yourself with it the 724-25 triangle it's not drawn to scale but uh, just there to help us so when it comes to cosine theta cosine theta compares the adjacent with the hypotenuse so it's going to be 7 over 25 so we need to multiply this force here by the distance AB which is 1.5 and if we do that work it out on your calculator what you find you get is 3.43 exactly and it'll be measured in joules all right